so the first thing you're going to do is go to the App Store and download the Fonto app. And then once that pulls up, it should be the first one that pops up. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to click open, but that's what it looks like. So I'm going to swipe and go to my YouTube folder and open up Fonto. Then you're going to click the little camera at the bottom and select play an image. And then you can click the black one. And then up top where the numbers are, click that and then hit custom and switch it to 1280 and 720, which will give you the perfect YouTube thumbnail uh, size. And then go to the right hand corner and click use and save. And then click the three bars on the bottom left. And then you're going to want to select add image. And then whatever YouTube video you're filming, I'm doing a Husker game. So I'm going to go back and find my Husker photos and select one of those to put in to the thumbnail. And I'm just going to choose this one. And then I'm going to center it and move it around to the way I like. So you can click move, center it, um, move it however you want, or just use your finger. And then I'm going to click size and make it a little larger. So that way it fits the entire uh, form, I guess. And then I'm also going to make sure that the height and width are okay. And then I'm going to scoot it over. That way I can add another picture to the right of it. You can add as many pictures as you want. And so I'm just going to add another one. So I'm going to go to the bottom, click the three bars again, add another image. And then this time I'm going to click the, oh, yeah, that one. I'm going to click the one where we're standing. And I'm going to move that around as well and size it differently so that it can fit the portion of the blackness. And then once I get it done there, you can again add more pictures, but I'm just going to do those two because um, those are the best pictures I have that. Then you can click anywhere and add text and then um, you can say whatever you want. They have a lot of different fonts and colors that you can choose from. I'm just going to see my first Big Ten football game, if I can spell bug big football, Big Ten football game. Um, go Huskers, I actually won that game. And then I'm going to center it, and then I'm going to leave the font, but you guys can change the font if you'd like. And then I'm going to drag it with my fingers. It's a little big, so I'm going to um, bring it down a little bit by clicking size. And then it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to click style. And then you can switch the text color or stroke to make it larger, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the stroke up a little bit and see how that looks. I don't really like that, so I think I'm going to maybe outline it with some black. So go to style again, and then I click black, and then that looks a little better. And so I'm just going to leave it like that. And then you can add more text if you want, but then click the bottom right and select save image. And then it goes directly to your camera roll. And then sometimes they have an ad, but you don't necessarily have to watch that. I'm going to go back to my photos and it's on my camera roll and that is my thumbnail for my next video. It's super easy. Fonto is one of the easiest ways to edit videos and then you can just airdrop it to iMovie on your computer or upload it to YouTube however you want to do that. It's super quick and easy and it's just very uh, useful and like very, um, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is, but yeah, that's it. And then you can just make it edit again, but again, just use Fonto and that's all.